Okay, uh, dear colleague, uh, good morning. Uh, it's a big pleasure for me to share with you this uh, uh, SCCT consensus document uh, on uh, pre-procedural planning of coronary vascularization by cardiac CT uh, that has been uh, very recently uh, published online in JCCT and uh, your intervention. Um, just a brief look on the writing group. I will spend a word on this uh, nice uh, uh, on this nice list of people. So, uh, as co-chair, we had a Professor Patrick Sarais that uh, needs no uh, introduction uh, as really prominent interventional cardiologist and a trialist. And I will underline the good balance between uh, interventionalists, as uh, Dr. Collet, uh, Dr. Bartorelli, uh, Paul Knappen, Jeron Song, Giulio Stefanini, Yoshio Numa, and the Imager, well recognized in the field, uh, such as Jonathan Leipzig and Kuhn Neiman, uh, Marcy Bittencourt, Brian Gorgia, and, and, and many others. So what is the rationale for this consensus document? So we try to expound the key technical aspect uh, of coronary CT angiography related to this new field of application. So the planning of percutaneous and surgical coronary intervention and to review the available data in the literature that support uh, the usefulness of uh, cardiac CT together with the functional method derived from CT, such as CTFFR and CTMPI in the pre-procedural planning. So in particular, in the uh, introduction of this paper, we underline that the integration of cardiac CT in the workup before coronary vascularization is supported by its accuracy on uh, plaque characterization and particularly on calcium characterization because we know that from the invasive coronary angiography alone to assess the extent and distribution of calcium, of calcific plaque may be uh, an issue. So as methods, uh, the different clinical indications were discussed and arranged accordingly to uh, these uh, uh, two uh, following modalities. Uh, a brief paragraph dedicated to each indication with the description of the available data. And every indication was rated by the, uh, by the panelists uh, for appropriateness using a score that was uh, already used in different guidelines and uh, uh, is a seven to four appropriate and four to six uncertain for this specific indication. So we pass to briefly review uh, the chapter of this document. We started from atherosclerosis analysis so uh, atherosclerosis uh, assessment is a very hot topic in cardiac CT. We have a recent uh, SCCT guideline on the analysis of atherosclerosis by cardiac CT. In this brief paragraph, we underline and discuss it particularly the aspect that may have implication uh, for the interventional procedure, in particular that uh, all adverse plaque features could be associated with an increased risk of uh, periprocedural myocardial infarction that adverse plaque features could be associated with ischemia independently from the uh, degree of stenosis uh, angiographically. And uh, probably most important that the uh, presence of uh, extensive calcification, uh, particularly in some, uh, uh, in some region of the coronary tree, uh, may be associated with uh, the need of uh, uh, dedicated uh, for example, plaque modification techniques such as ROTA or IVL, and in general, uh, the uh, calcific roadmap provided to the interventionalist by cardiac CT may be very useful uh, to uh, plan the, uh, the procedure in terms of material, but also in terms of personal. So then we pass it to assess the role of the two methods uh, uh, that allows to provide also some functional information, CTFFR, that allows to combine anatomy and physiology and then to guide the referral to ICA. This was demonstrated in the literature, particularly in the advanced registry, and also to help the planning. You can see here an example of uh, a tight lesion in LAD, anatomically demonstrated with the uh, big drop in FFR CT to uh, 0.59, and uh, uh, the estimation 
of uh, the uh, results of the procedure of the PCI in terms of uh, physiology, the so-called, uh, the newly uh, uh, introduced uh, uh, PCI planner that allows to have, uh, uh, to estimate the uh, FFR post-PCI and was demonstrated in the P3 study recently published in Jack Imaging from uh, Jerome Song and the group of Halst, Carlos Collet, Bernard De Bruin, as really accurate in comparison with the measured post-PCI FFR into the catalog. So then we pass it to the perfusion imaging, stress perfusion imaging, that should be particularly useful in patients with pivotal distant implantation where CTA alone may have some drawback in terms of interpretation of the incentive stenosis of the images due to the blooming artifacts, the hardening, and then the integration between anatomy and function again can help. The intervention is to select the patient to submit to invasive evaluation and potentially PCI. So CTO chapter, so CTO is probably one of the application already uh, clinically uh, introduced uh, in the practice. Uh, we have uh, a couple of score, the CT rector and the KCCT, uh, that has been demonstrated to uh, uh, predict the procedural success of a CTO PCI. And CTCA may help in identify the anatomical features of the CTO that are associated with increased risk uh, and complexity uh, of a CTO PCI. We also had uh, uh, in the literature uh, some uh, prospective randomized trial, as the one reported here, that showed that the CTA allows to increase the success rate, particularly in the more complex anatomy in the JCTO score uh, increase. So we pass it to something new and particularly to the syntax score. Uh, anatomical and functional, then syntax score two and three, that uh, is due to the group of Patrick Sarai's the idea to try to adapt this invasive score, invasive angiographic score to CTA. Uh, and then in the syntax three trial has been demonstrated that this tool applied to CT allows to be uh, useful for an R team to guide the decision making between cabbage and PCI in traversal patient with good agreement in comparison with an our team that received the standard images from uh, invasive coronary angiography. And then in fact, that this allows to CTA to be expanded in terms of indication from the basis of uh, the pyramid of coronavirus VRT disease, so the rule out with the excellent negative predictive value to the mid and to the, and to the apex of the, of the pyramid, so to, to the complex three-vessel patient, eventually including the left main stem uh, disease. So uh, pre-procedural surgical planning is probably uh, the most challenging application, or, or of course, still to be demonstrated the usefulness of CTA in this field. We can see here one case where CTA allows to uh, put the indication for cabbage due to the syntax score two and three to identify the stenosis with functional uh, significance with uh, CTFFR to visualize the potential distal anastomosis, the landing zone, and eventually to check the procedure. And this is a case uh, uh, included in the fast track cabbage trial that is an ongoing trial, prospective one where the planning of the surgical procedure is based completely uh, on uh, cardiac CT that uh, uh, is reviewed by a surgeon and uh, an expert uh, imager in cardiac CT. And then uh, the two third of this trial has been completed with a good feasibility uh, rate. And the investigator, Professor Sarais is the PI, are also assessing the safety of this approach at one month follow-up. Finally, the last step may be to bring the CT into the catalog. So to not only analyze uh, CTA parameters before for the planning, but also to go into the catalog with a synchronization between CTA and uh, the screen of the standard catalog as reported here in this paper published in Jack Imaging from uh, Carlos Collet, uh, 
uh, then proposed this uh, new tool that is uh, uh, that has been developed recently that uh, allows to have a synchronization between uh, CTA and uh, the X-ray tube of angiography, and then to follow the vessel and to identify the calcific lesion, to identify the true normal to normal, so normal in terms of uh, plaque, not of stenosis, and then to uh, eventually overcome some limitation of conventional invasive angiography as for shortening or the difficulties in selecting optimal projection. This may be particularly useful in bifurcation lesion and osteal lesion, and this may be the latest step of the concept city-guided PCI, so a, a PCI supported by cardiac CT. So uh, the, our last chapter was the uh, evident ga gaps that need to be, uh, that need to further uh, focus of research. And we underlined studies on uh, cabbage planning based solely on a CTA, on interactive CTA PCI planner. The first one was the P3 and particularly randomized trial trying to demonstrate that the approach of city guided PCI may, may be uh, useful and uh, effective. And nowadays is ongoing the P4 study. You can see here the, uh, the diagram, the flow. This is a, an international uh, randomized prospective trial that involves more than 15 sites in Europe and potentially also in the US. Uh, this is this started a couple of months ago. And uh, 1,000 patients will be randomized. Uh, uh, they have at least one lesion, anatomically and functionally significant, and will be randomized to receive a standard of care and IVUS guided PCI versus CT guided PCI. The primary point is the non inferiority of CTA approach and what means a CT guided. So, this means that the intervention list that will be provided by the core lab in Alst to have a CT package for the planning, so different anatomical and functional parameters for the planning and the guidance inside the catalog with the tool that we saw recently. And finally, as last uh, uh, slide, the writing group also scored the indication, then trying to provide the readers of uh, this uh, document with a measure of our consensus. You can note that uh, uh, we have no indication with uh, uh, the highest rate, with nine, that uh, has been uh, associated just to, to the uh, statement reporting the guideline that cardiac CT is nowadays recognized as first line imaging test in suspected coronary artery disease, but all the others has a good range between six, so uncertain for preplanning of cabbage or for perfusion, to seven or eight, so appropriate. For example, for CTFFR, for CTO, um, and uh, in general, to try to overcome some limitation of uh, invasive coronary angiography. So that's all from my side. I would like to thank you again, uh, the uh, all writing group member, to prepare this document, and I hope this may be useful for the community.